Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Today we will discuss a question regarding the new calculations of maneuvering speeds and this question is from the question bank of principles of flight which relates to the PPL, CPL, IR and ATPL question bank. An aircraft has a mass of 60,000 kg and a limiting positive load factor of 2.5. Maneuvering speed is calculated as the EAS at which full positive elevator deflection will give the limiting load factor at the stall and it is 237 knots. If the aircraft mass is reduced to 40,000 kg by fuel burn, what will be the new VA? So, first of all, we know that we have the maneuvering speed and we have to calculate the stall speed with a maneuvering speed of 237 knots. So it would be maneuvering speed is equal to Vs1g into the square root of 2.5 which is the limiting positive load factor. So the square root first let's calculate of 2.5 that is 1.58 so we have two calculations one is the square root of 2.5 and the other is the maneuvering speed so the equation will be Vs 1g is equal to 237 divided by 1.58 and The answer is 150 knots. So now we have the stall speed which is 150 knots. Action factor, the earlier weight was 60,000 kg and after a fuel burn of 20,000 kg it is 40,000 kg. So reduction factor. Forty thousand divided by sixty thousand is equal to zero point six six. We will take the square root of zero point six six that is. 0.81 now we will multiply the stall speed of 60,000 kg with the square root of 0.66 so stall speed multiply by square root of 0.66 is 150 multiply by 0.81 that is 122 so this is 122 knots the stall speed is now 122 knots at 40,000 kg we have to calculate the new maneuvering speed so the new maneuvering speed is equal to 1 22 multiply by the square root of 2.5 which we have earlier calculated that is 1.58 which is 192.7 knots this is our new maneuvering speed at a new weight of 40,000 kg and the answer in the question bank is 194 knots, which is B. So approximately 192.7, which is 194 knots. Thank you very much.